sitting out the first day after a scrimmage, what did you want to see, and, and how did what you saw you know, compare to that? I uh, wanted to see some consistency. Uh, got it from the defense, not the offense. The defense came out and basically dominated practice today. These guys came out with a purpose, and, and, um, and they stepped up, and, and, and it was challenging. They came out and, and took advantage of it. Offensively, we took a step back. And some of the things we were doing the first week, we're starting to do it again. Put a lot of that on coaching. You know, we got to do a better job of coaching them up and get guys to do exactly what we need them to do. You know, we didn't do that today. So, I said, the entire offense, the staff, and player just wasn't good. wasn't on the A game today. wasn't good enough. Coach, what they kind of show you about you, this you know, your team and progress today? It seems like kind of all spring it's been defense one day, offense the next day. It's kind of been back. Uh, I mean, you can look at it in a lot of different ways. You can look at some ways. Guys are proving, or guys are responding, you know, to a, to a bad day. Uh, I think it's a, a come a time where you want some consistency on you know, one side of the ball, you know. And we say defense, they put together two days in a row now, you know. And offense, we, we haven't been able to do that. So we see if we come back out here Thursday, see if offense is stepping up, and see if defense can put three days together. Talk about the defense as a group of resiliency was. It seems like every time we talk about them, we're talking about how they bounced back from a rough one the day before and had, had a nice day. I mean, on Saturday they started out well, but then, then they got the offense, you know, put some on them a little, a little bit. You said today they dominated. So talk about, you know, their bounce back and they're still a, a young group, but just talk about what character was that we've seen. Well, the guys, the guys starting to talk up. I'll tell you one thing that I'm liking from a defense standpoint is guys are communicating. The guys are talking. You're out there, you hear them talking. And, they see things and they tell each other where to go and you know, what to look for. And I think as a coach, that's good to see it here because you're not going to be out on the field. You're not going to be that guy to tell them, move over in the A-gap, move here. you got your teammates doing it. And I think what's coming along now is guys starting to get comfortable with the system. And, and, um, so they're being they able to communicate and do it with some confidence. You know, and, and they're getting the results from it. Is it possible to have a, a really good defensive day and a really good offensive day on the same day? Uh, again, depending on how you look at it, you know. Uh, what we try to do is keep it competitive. You know, each one of our drills, we'll have some kind of competition in there to see if, whether or not who wins. You know, we want a winner. You know, there's no such thing as time. You know, so you know, it's not possible. You know, uh, well, somebody's got to win. You know, and that's what we want to get out of this team is that every day we come out here, we want to win. You know, we don't want to lose. We're tired of losing. You know, and want, want to get that attitude to where it's Losing is not an option, you know, and, 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 and keep putting days, stacking the game, days together, they start to get it that um, we're not going to lose, you know, we're not out here to lose, we're out here to work and win every day. As far as some of those bad habits you see coming back from the offense, I mean, how do you how do you go about shaking some of those for good? Um, I mean, it's going to be a process, you know, I mean, they've been doing what they've been doing for us for a while now, and, and we got to try to get them out of that, you know, and again, we got to keep putting them in those situations, and and demand excellence from them. You know, we can't let them get by with just anything. You can't take anything for granted. You know, and um, uh, eventually they're gonna get out. Of them. I'm gonna see to it that they get out of it. Or the best way I know how to make that happen is not let them get in there. You know, if a guy consistently messing up, he can't play for it. You know, those type of things that's gonna get us beat.